passing of one of the all-time greats, Boxing Hall of Famer Pernell Sweet P. Whitaker. A moment of silence, please, as we celebrate his life in and out of the ring during boxing's traditional 10 count. Rest in peace, repeat. Rest in peace. It's over, baby. It's over. You called it, baby. A straight right hand, one punch knockout. I know that with my skill set and how I fight, we're going to see if Masayoshi Nakatani can take those body shots and what he can handle and what he can't handle. It's my first main event. It's going to be a mega explosive full action type of fight, and someone will go down. He's a, what Triple G used to call a drama show, in and out of the ring. His life's become like a soap opera, and I recently spent some time with Teofimo Lopez. Those are his first, these are his first ones. That's history. This was his first gloves, sparring gloves. Team Lopez is a family business. Since he was eight years old, Teofimo Lopez's career was shepherded by his family. His older sisters, Andrea and Jasmine, always by his side. His mother, Jenny, doubling as his nutritionist. His outspoken father, Teofimo Lopez Sr., has been his trainer and closest advisor. What I see in my son is the best fighter that ever lived. That's the way I see my son. That was as devastating a knockout as you will see. I would never lie about my son. If my son sucks, he sucks. And he wouldn't be in this sport. it have been like 20 seconds without throwing a punch. And then you throw those <coughs> bullshit punches. Do you ever feel like, Dad, your mouth is writing the checks? My butt no, has to there's, cash. There's times it was like, I'm like, dang, he put me in this pos uh, position. I'm like, all right, now I got to back him up. Oh, my God! <laughs> Team Lopez has elevated the young boxer's career from prospect to contender status. But in December, 21-year-old Teo proposed to his girlfriend, Cynthia, who is six years older, a decision which was met with disapproval by his mother and sisters. You know, the age difference, that's what they don't like. You know, if she was a gold digger, she would have definitely easily been with anyone else. On April 23rd, Tio married Cynthia. However, his sisters and mother did not attend. Are you ready? I told her that this is your first child getting married. You know, whether it's your, the one that you didn't want to see get married first, it's your first child, I would love and I appreciate if you will. If it's not their way, it's the highway. And it sucks. I have my father there. That's all that matters to me. You know, they say I've changed. You know, they say I forgot where I came from. And it's not that I forgot where I came from. I did change, I did. You know, I changed, but I feel like I know that I changed for the better. So I'm more um, mature about things. I'm accepting maturity. You know, I'm accepting what's coming. This new outlook has also led Tio to making some changes to Team Lopez. He no longer lives in his parents' home while he trains in Las Vegas, and he's hired a nutritionist to take over his mother's duties. One thing I always tell my mother is like, no matter what, whether you're my nutritionist or not, there's one thing that no one can ever take from you, and that's being my mother. This is the breaking point of everything starting to shape shift and change in my life and my career. And the personal pressure is building for Teo Famo Lopez at the exact same point that the professional pressure is building. 
It's like a Hollywood script where the, uh, the emotional arc of the character matches the action perfectly. Andre, talk to me about what's going on with this kid's family and how that might affect his performance. Max, I'm concerned about all the family outside the ring issues that we're hearing about Teofimo. If, if they're bubbling up in the public and we're hearing about them, I can't imagine what's going on behind the scenes. This type of stuff, as a fighter and as an athlete, it drains you, it takes away from your focus. You think you're compartmentalizing it, but you're really not. These types of things are undefeated in this sport. You have to face them head on up your tail, and you have to put them to bed because they'll crop up at the wrong time, Mark. More than a year ago, both Teofimos, father and son, started talking about not just fighting Loma, but beating the great Vasily Lomachenko. And it worked. It's created a lot of shine, a lot of heat. Now it's Teofimo saying, if I feel comfortable at the weight, hold on, it doesn't quite work like that. You've created this expectation. Now you're beholden to it. You want to be immortal. Yeah. You're obligated to fight the immortals. The other thing is, it's worth saying here that, you know, 135 isn't Lomachenko's weight either. And I, I do credit I do credit Lomachenko for, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Tiafimo for speaking up for himself, but still. All right, look, I see you're nodding along nah. with this point. I disagree. Nah, We're going to get to that in a second. First, let's look at the 135-pound <laughs> division as it is. Tim, there's a lot of talk about Lomachenko, but what, not only what, he's got to win tonight, who else he got to beat on the way to Lomachenko? I don't, I don't understand why we already saying that Lomachenko and Lopez, the fight's going to happen. The guy you got to watch out for, the dark horse in his, in his, his weight class right here, is the champion, the holder of the of the IBF World Championship. His name is Richard Comey. He has punching power. Not only does he have punching power, he has that one thing that you cannot measure. Yeah. And I'm talking about what? Heart. Yeah, I agree. Heart. I, I hear I'll, a lot say, of... I'll say one thing about yeah, him. Yeah. He may just look like a jolly fat man <laughs> who says all kinds of crazy <laughs> oh, stuff. Man, don't call him <laughs> but I man. have learned doing these broadcasts with him, Tim is on the money about yeah. a lot of stuff that I'm other done. people don't see. Yeah. And I agree with him about Comey, particularly Why guys. Why sound so surprised? Particularly guys, if he's drained by the weight. No, Comey no, no, can no, no, punch no, 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 drained no, no, no. by the weight. Max, Max, we can't drained do that. Drained by the weight. Every fighter's drained. There's different degrees of being drained, but we can't play doctor. We can't play nutritionist. Let them do their job. At the end of the day, Tim is right. A lot of people are dismissing Comey like it's a foregone conclusion. The first six rounds, I slightly favor Teo. When that fight gets beyond seven, if it does, mm -hmm. then I'll start to favor well, I mean, Comey. first of all, we're I, acting like Nakatani's a foregone conclusion. They got a fight that's tonight. A fact he's too. undefeated. Right. That's a fact. Mark, too. I disagree with you. I think part of what we're seeing with Teo is he's take he's becoming a man and, and wrestling control from his dad of his own career. And if he feels that he can't make 35 anymore, he's got to go up to 40, in my I, opinion. I, I agree with you. Listen, he, he has an unenviable task. He has to grow up in public with the highest level of, of scrutiny, and he's got to answer for everybody talking stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah. I get it. He's talked some, too, and, and, and he's benefited from it. Fact of the matter is, yesterday at the fighter meeting, I asked his nutritionist, can he make the weight? He can make the weight as long as he wants to make the weight. Oh, then let the yeah, nutritionist but, uh, make but the, the weight. Nutritionists don't know how he feels. <laughs> the nutritionists don't know how he feels or what he goes through mentally. Nobody knows that but the fighter. You know what? And the, the fact Andre... that he's a young, the fact that he's a young guy, he's growing. I'll tell you what. We Come can't on. sit here if he were to miss weight for a big fight. And sit here. Oh, how could he miss weight when he's sitting here telling us? Are we doing this? I can't Max, do this anymore. This right now? It's not concessions, Dre. Are we doing it's this reality. right now? No, this Let's is do reality. It. He can Listen, be too man, big for the weight class. I've done this for two plus decades. I know all about making weight. It's part of the game and when you benefit from mentioning one of the best fighters in the world in Lomachenko to whom much is given much is required you got to back up that check that your pops just wrote I'm gonna let you have last word on that for now yeah. Andre Ward yeah. coming up in a matter of moments we get back and get down to business main event Teofimo Lopez against Masayoshi Nakatani title eliminator It's a strange way to come of age at another man's expense. It's not a dunk, a goal, a home run. It's more emphatic, more symbolic, 
more brutal. But chances are, it's also why you're watching. Is he really as big and bad as he says? Teofimo Lopez, whether you hate him, whether you like him, you're still gonna watch him. It is the entertainment business, and what I'm doing right now is honestly entertainment. Teofimo Lopez is that most peculiar of prodigies, not embracing expectations, but hyping them. Part artist, part sadist. And what about that dad? What won't he say? I see him with a belt with 15 fights, you know? And then I see him taking all the belts with 16 fights when we beat the out of Lomancheco. Is he merely a valet or a visionary? It's all within reach now. The belt, then all the belts. But you'll know soon enough if you got what you came for. It is time for the takeover. Or will the takeover find a stop sign tonight? The tail of the tape for our main event in the title eliminator at 135 pounds in the IBF. Masayoshi Nakatani has size. He is every bit of six foot. Astounding for a lightweight, four inches over Lopez. You see him before the weigh-in, you see him struggling just to get down and make 134.4. But look at the CompuBox tally on that bottom line. The power punch connect percentage, a ridiculous total for Lopez. 53.5% of his power punches are landed. His handlers walk alongside him now, but yesterday, when it comes to Nakatani, one of his handlers was walking and holding him up under his armpit to keep him steady. That is how dried out and weak he's seen prior to weighing in, making that 135 on that long six-foot frame of his. The hope is that's not how they're taking him out of the ring. He's a good regional fighter in Asia. Now he needs to prove that he can test, he can pass a major international test, that he can come here to D.C. and handle Teofimo Lopez. Nakatani started boxing at 15. He was inspired by a young fighter that he went to the same high school as. Lopez readies himself for what is always entertaining when he flips the switch and there is that smile and the bounce in the step. The takeover. And you see it under the hooded robe there that the hair has grown out. That is a change perhaps intended to represent what he acknowledges as more maturing, Evolving as a person and as his own man, recognizing what he needs to be most as over his left shoulder is the very outspoken trainer and father, Teofimo Sr. You know, prior to that April 20th fight at MSG, he noticed a bald patch developing on the lower back of his left. That's why I bring up the fact that he has grown out his hair. That was a stress spot back then. He was losing hair over stress. We have detailed everything that was bothering him outside the ring. The fast ascent. The major life changes. But he has matured in recent months, and he is undoubtedly the biggest buzz among the youngest fighters. You could argue who is the best among the younger now contenders. We saw Shakur Stevenson last week. But little argument about who's the most dynamic. There is Cynthia, his wife. She sits ringside. You can see the nervous anticipation of a loved one prior to a main event. It is a big moment for Nakatani and Lopez. Both unbeaten, both trying to earn a title shot. One will move ahead. 
Will it continue on the ways that it has for Lopez? We find out right now. We continue here at the MGM National Harbor. Once again, the action presented to you by Hall of Fame boxing promoter Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated and being sponsored by Geico, our officials at ringside. From the Maryland State Athletic Commission, Chairman David J. Norman. Executive Director is Patrick Panella. Supervising for the IBF, Edward Cotton. Our three judges at ringside are David Braslow, Bernard Bruni, and Larry Hazard, Jr. At the sound of the bell, the man in charge of the ring, referee Harvey Dog. And now, ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be entertained. This is the main event of the evening. A 12-round IBF lightweight world title eliminator. Introducing first, the fighter standing Harvey in the blue corner. Da. Being presented in association now, with Ioka Promotions and wearing black with red and gold trim, he weighed in at a ripped and ready 134 and one half pounds. And he enters the ring, an undefeated pro with 18 victories. 12 of those victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Woo! Masayoshi Nakatani. Across the ring in the red corner, wearing black with silver trim, he weighed in at a chiseled 134 and one half pounds. In the summer of 2016, he capped off an outstanding amateur per career, representing Honduras at the Rio 2016 Olympics. Now, he enters the ring an undefeated pro and one of the fastest rising stars in boxing with 13 victories. 11 of those victories coming by way of KO. Welcome to the takeover from Brooklyn, New York, Teofimo, El Brooklyn Lopez. One win away from a title shot. The rocket ride ascent of Teofimo Lopez. Boxers, you received your instructions earlier. As a reminder, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch up. Good luck. Joe Tessitore, Tim Bradley, Andre Ward, ringside. Gentlemen, where is their hope for Nakatani here? <laughs> well, we gonna see, Tess. You know, Nakatani, I believe, he has a puncher's chance. He's going to have to keep his distance, and he's going to have to keep Lopez at bay. Yo, Nakatani's got good offense. He's got a decent jab, uh, and he's got a good right hand. The right hand is probably the best asset that Nakatani has tonight. Let's see if he can place it against Lopez. Round number one. Mm. See that length? See that reach and the height advantage? The undefeated Japanese contender, and he found out quickly about the quick hands and a bit of the power from Lopez there, didn't he? You see the little cross guard, the little shoulder roll from Lopez right there. You see the right hand of Nakatani, it's long and wide. You see Lopez putting himself in harm's way, leaning towards that side. He sometimes misjudges the range. There it is again from Nakatani. Nakatani trying to place that overhand right. Let's see if Lopez dips to the right and stays in the path of it. Going to place a right hand to the body from range. Nakatani's doing a great job right now in, in inserting himself in his game plan right now. He really has Lopez's attentions right now. You see the nose of Lopez reddening. Both men trying to go to the body there. And Nakatani mm. looking to get to the inside for a moment. So he can work behind that long jab there. Nakatani doing something real smart right now by shooting the jab to the body of Lopez. If you can't hit the head, the body will be there to be hit. Nakatani has had a lot of success domestically in 
Japan. He has a regional belt that he's defended multiple times. He's no stranger to going 12 rounds. This is a different style, a different flavor, and a different level of competition that he's facing tonight, but he's faring well in this first round. They're utilizing that left hand well. Shooting the jab, tripled it up moments ago, looking to drive a right hand behind it occasionally. Range finding and proper distance on his terms as it stands here in the first round. Nakatani cannot afford to pull straight back with his hands down. Lopez looking to catch his shoot. There it was, just a little bit off the mark, but as the rounds continue, Nakatani will slow down a little bit and make himself available for a big shot. First glimpse we got of that right hand coming over the top from Lopez. Mm. And that time, as distance closed, he landed the left, and now a short right hand by Tiafimo. You know, Teofimo is the shorter fighter. He need not just look for the big knockout right hand because he can get hit with shots like that or the big knockout left hook. He has to set his offense up behind the left hand. Good opening round for Masayoshi Nakatani. Now, if you're just joining us, we want to show you what happened earlier tonight on ESPN+. Plus. It was a world title eliminator, 140 pounds. And this is Maxim Dadashev who was 13-0. You see his trainer, Buddy McGirt, calling an end to the fight. He took huge money as punishment from Sabriel Matias. In fact, he struggled to hold himself up coming out of the ring. And then you can see the weak knees and then onto the gurney with EMS. He was violently vomiting. They quickly got him into an ambulance, rushed him off to the hospital to see a specialist, a neurologist. And Bernardo now has an update for us. Donata Yenishevich has been in contact with Egas Klimas, who is the manager of Maxim Dadachev. And he told me that on the way to the hospital, while in the ambulance, he was responsive, and then Dadachev lost consciousness. They changed the hospital, taking him to a trauma one unit at UM Prince George's Hospital, where he is now being hooked up to machines and he will have a CT scan, and that's the latest we have. Buddy McGirt, his trainer, and Dr. Anderson, his cut man, are on the way to the hospital as we speak. Okay, we will continue to give you updates on Dadashev as they come in. We hope for better news when it comes to his medical condition. And there's a scary scene that we all witnessed earlier tonight. Round number two here between Nakatani and Lopez. Nakatani's a live dog in there. You know, and he had some hand speed, too. I don't think Lopez expected Nakatani to be so quick and so accurate with his jab. A nice little chess match going on by both fighters at the moment. Mm, nice shot right there from Nakatani. Right hand over the top. He's, even been, though, he's yeah. been willing with it. Yeah, even though he's having success offensively and he, he looks good. The issue with Nakatani is that he leaves his chin up in the yep. air. He doesn't look for any punches coming back, and that's what Teofimo's looking for. Teofimo's not trying to set anything up. He's just looking for Nakatani to make a mistake so yep. he can land a big right hand or a left hook. But they got to be set up, Dre, and he has to get on that stick. And he's doing it right there. Lopez throwing a nice little jab to the body. There's the clash of heads, and it went right on the brow of the eye of the left eye of Nakatani. He pulled away and was looking for blood. Referee took a peek. And that was the accidental clash earlier here in round two. That time, Nakatani able to land that left hand as Lopez closed the gap. Nakatani just missed a mean right hand about 10 seconds ago that just whizzed by the chin of Lopez. Oh. Lopez has that left hand down in that Mayweather roll type of posture. It's too early for that right now. Body shot from Nakatani. Lopez leaving his feet a little bit, exposing himself, swinging wildly. Nakatani seeing that coming easily and stepped back, made a miss. Left hand down near the hip. Now he places a jab to the body, does Lopez. Tried to work behind it, came up short of a right hand being fully thrown. There's that left hook. That's something that he said he wanted to target tonight.
even the punches that Teofimo Lopez misses, you can sense and feel the explosiveness that he has. But so far, Nakatani is not following the script. Short, compact, direct, explosive, fast hands, heavy hands, Lopez. Right hand from Nakatani, a little bit of a shoulder roll from Lopez to take some of that away. Jab from Lopez. End of two is a ride. Yeah, no, you gotta stop being on the outside. This was the first full camp for which Tiafimo had the nutritionists perfecting athletes. His dad didn't like the idea. His dad doesn't like anyone telling his son what to do but him. But now he's all for the nutritionist because it's the best way, maybe the only way he can really maintain for what Senior really wants, which is that showdown with Lomachenko. Now, right now the showdown is right in front of him to try to even get in position for more. All right. Walk that distance to fuck that nigga, bro. Keep that right hand up. understand that in the corner audio that we just brought you there was extreme offensive language that we apologize if that came across Nakatani just missed another right hand to the chin of Lopez He's starting to close the distance little by little. That's the danger yeah. of having the highlight reel knockouts early in your career. You assume, you take for granted the fact that that's going to always happen, and that's what Tao's doing right now. He's assuming that Nakatani's going to fall right into script, and so far he hasn't done that. Lopez tonight is getting tested. He's getting tested mentally right now, and towards the back end of this fight, if it goes the distance, if Lopez doesn't knock him out, He's going to be tested. His condition is going to be tested as well. And his heart and his will. Because Nakatani is game tonight. Still don't like the placement of Nakatani's chin. It's right up in the air. And again, Teofimo Lopez is targeting that chin. Hasn't landed cleanly yet, but that's what he's looking for. One of the things you have to understand is that Nakatani, he's, he's holding his ground right now. And he's making himself available for big shots over the top. Every time Lopez drops the jab down to the body, you don't see Nakatani bag out. He's staying. He's looking for something over the top. But at the same time, he's exposing himself for something big over the top from Lopez. We've talked about Teofimo Lopez struggling to make the weight. But Nakatani at 5'11 and a half, he was also struggling to make the weight. So both guys had an issue making weight for this fight. Oh, there's a left over. hand to the body available. There's an overhand right available for Lopez. There, there it is right there. That was a catch and shoot right there from Lopez. He blocked the punch from Nakatani and caught him on a nice short right hand over the top. There's no need for Nakatani to get too greedy right now. He's got to keep in mind that he's gone the rounds. Teofimo has not been past the sixth round. He should continue to box and be smart early to take the young fighter into the deeper rounds. That's exactly what Nakatani's doing, Dre. Look at the look at the, the, the feints he's throwing on Teofimo Lopez. Slowed him down a bit. Nice body shot by Lopez. You know, earlier tonight, there was an outrageous scene we had on the undercard. Watch what happens when Cassius Cheney knocks down Joel Caudill and catches him off bounce. Big uppercut comes in there. And watch, look at this. Caudill goes out of the...
of the ring between the ropes head first, but gets himself up the steps and beats the count and continues fighting. Only to then be TKO'd moments later. Oh, the man went <laughs> through the ropes head first and made his way back into the mean, ring. I don't mean to laugh. I'm just saying that the. Come on, Tim. No, I'm just saying. He got knocked out the ring. No, I don't mean to laugh like that, but I'm just saying, like, the ground woke him up. He got. Seriously. <laughs> he hit the ground and woke him up and he got back into the ring. I mean, he got mad hard. You ever, I mean, he got mad hard. I give him that. That was my biggest but fear. But I ain't never seen that was it my like biggest that. Fear, Joe. I ain't never Getting seen knocked it. out the ring. You got 20 seconds to get back in the ring. And uh, respect to that guy because he yeah. was the opponent. He wasn't supposed to come in here and win. He met, he wheeled himself back in the ring yeah. within the 20 seconds. Round four here, Lopez and Nakatani. Very good start for Nakatani here. 29-28, two rounds to one early on on Andre's card. Nakatani came out the first two rounds. Oh, good shot by Lopez. With a good left hand, I was going to say he abandoned the left hand, and that's why you're starting to see Teofimo close the distance. And when he closes the distance, that's when danger arrives. He's stalking now. See He's him on the front stalking. foot now. Fellas, it's not just Nakatani's chin that's up. His right hand flies out when he jabs. That's why Teofimo's always looking for that left hook. That's why he can jump in with it. Lopez taking those half steps forward, comes in with a right hand, short left, and hits it. Now he targets the body. You can feel him being more comfortable than being on that front foot. Gets it inside, and he scores a vicious knockdown. They're saying that's a slip. He did slip, but it looked like a punch lands. There is definitely water in that corner, that red corner that Lopez sits in between rounds. I want to go back and see if a punch landed there. We're directly across from it, so from our angle, we have Lopez's back. This is a much better angle to see clearly. No, that was off the shoulder. So a slip correctly ruled by Harvey Dock. Lopez stepping up the tempo right now. Nakatani look a little bit frustrated right now with the pressure that Lopez is putting on him, putting on him, cutting off the ring and landing some big shots to the body and to the head. Entire tone has changed here in round number four, hasn't it? Now he lunges in with a left hand. Nakatani tries to fire it back over the top. Good left hand to the body from Lopez. Yeah. Good answer with the right hand from Nakatani. Fun round, isn't it? I'm just so surprised how well Nakatani's taking these punches from Lopez. Normally, guys will fall or be staggered with these punches, but Nakatani showing a game face. Well, Matt, I mean, uh, Tim, everybody's not going to lay down. That's Some right. people going to take that shot and laugh at you and hit you back. So. He's an 18-0 fighter. He's never been knocked down. You he wants to, wants to fight for a world title himself. That's right. You got to teach him how to lose. That's right. Ooh. Faints coming in, goes with the left. Now fires off a combination. Awkward angle in landing that left hand. But the kind of round we're used to seeing out of Lopez. He's done. He's done. Teofimo's picked up the pace. We see a nice short right hand and left hook right there that got Nakatani's attention. Tefimo's closing the distance with the longer arm, taller fighter. He slipped the left, he missed his right, but then he lands at the big left hook. Nakatani's been taking some big shots over the last two rounds, but he's taking them well. There's Cynthia, his wife, ringside, reacting to that left hand. Here's that slip. Watch that foot. See that wet spot right there? Here's the slip here. There it is. It clipped gave the, way. Kind of clipped him right on the shoulder right there. But when he Nakatani. went back with the right foot to try to get some traction, it wasn't there. And that's where the water spills over from that corner of Tiafimo Lopez. <laughs> round five, will Lopez get back to work the way he did in round four? 
There's a jab to the body right there. And did you see Nakatani? Did he step back? No, he stays still. So expect something big over the top from Lopez. Lopez has to pick his left hand up and start jabbing more to hide those big shots because the shots that he's thrown, they've been good shots, mm -hmm. but Nakatani can compute them because he sees them coming. Nakatani has to pick his jab up to keep the shorter armed explosive Lopez off of him. But the jab, Nakatani has to shoot the jab at the, the chest of Lopez yes. just to throw off his rhythm. Yes. You know, because the head will move. Lopez is pretty slippery in there with dodging shots. So throw the jab at the chest and hit something. And Nakatani doesn't always have to throw it hard. He can flick it, blind Lopez, and mm. then bring his beautiful right hand behind it. And Nakatani does have a natural right hand. Works at Andre Ward and Tim Bradley and shakes his head, does Lopez. He said, yeah, yeah, his right hand's not that good. Lopez right now sitting, waiting to time the shot. He wants Nakatani to commit so he can make him pay on the way in. Nice body shot from Nakatani sure right there. Was. Right hands of the body from Lopez, partially blocked. Tess, every time Lopez starts at the body, he has success up top. And then he abandons it going down to the body. You know, you have to weaken and slow down and chop down the big tree, the big tall opponent, Nakatani. And Lopez is not doing that at the moment. There it is. Good body shots right there from Lopez. I mean, he must have heard me sitting here at ringside. There he goes with the right hand to the body again. Snap jab off the hip. See if he brings the right hand with that. There it is. Mm, that's the right hand right there. Nakatani just missed a hook. He tried to counter the right hand he got hit with. The fact that Lopez has hit Nakatani several times mm -hmm. cleanly, it and Nakatani has not kind of wilted, it shows you that he's here to win. He's not just here to get a paycheck. Every not time he gets level. hit, yeah, yeah, every time he gets hit, Tess, he's throwing right back. That lets you know he's here to win. Yep. This is a title eliminator looking for a date with Richard Coleman to get that IBF belt. あ、you see him lifting the legs. Kazumori Aoka, the trainer for Nakatani. Stretches out those long legs on a six foot tall, lightweight. But you see how he lifted the legs yes. up to elevate it to get the blood flowing upwards to the other the upper extremities of his body you that's think the if reason you're gonna, why you think if you're going to do that and be effective you'd like to take advantage of perhaps the full 60 seconds to do so not just right. the final few seconds before you send them out lopez coming in comes around with a right hand now tries to touch that body with a right hand snap jab again trying to comfortably get to that pocket and fire off Kuro Kazuo translated trainer Kazunori Ayoka's instructions for Masatori Nakatani, and he said, look, this is what we prepared for. He's never been past six rounds, so we pick it up after round six, and we start to take the charge. We'll see if he can do that. We're here in round six right now. Lopez has been making very early work of his opponents. Now on the inside, Nakatani. A confident moment being the aggressor as he dug that left hand, dipped it, and went to the body. Lopez welcomed him in there, maybe setting a trap. 
That's exactly what Lopez has to do. He has to set traps with Nakatani, but Nakatani right now, the momentum is shifting right now. He's putting pressure and gaining confidence, pushing back Lopez. Stepping to him, applying some pressure. Could be dangerous as well. This is the perfect time to set traps when you have an aggressive opponent in front of you in Nakatani. Lopez could be taking a breather right now. Nice setup. Catch and shoot. Rolled with the shoulder, threw back that Viper right. These moments right here are not just showcases. The promoter hopes that they ultimately will be showcases, but they're also here to show the promoter what the young fighter has when things aren't going his way. What other tricks does he have? What other tools does he have in his, in his bag? Because when he steps up to the Comeys mm -hmm. and potentially the Lomas, and then he moves up in a weight class, he's gonna need more than just what he's shown so far in this fight. Everybody's not gonna lay down. Look at the right hand of Nakatani. It's landing on Lopez. It's grazing him right now at the moment. Lopez is finding a way to, to escape him. But it's available for Nakatani because look at the left hand being down from Lopez. Those are fundamentals there. Mm, watch that elbow, Nakatani. Well, with all the success comes a different lifestyle. Tifimo Lopez, a few weeks ago, made his way to the ESPY Awards. Had a great time, so loving his celebrity status. And right now, he has a lot to deal with. Very game opponent in the undefeated Masayoshi Nakatani. Fifty-eight, fifty-six. Lopez on Andre Ward's scorecard. An opportunity for the right hand over the top. Hands are free. Hands are free. Mm. Oh, on separation. That's free. You can hear the referee Harvey Doc saying it. And Nakatani didn't protect himself. Protect yourself at all times. You hear that? Mm. The short shot on the inside from Nakatani. As now he's being the aggressor here and mauling on the inside. And I love the fact that he's transitioning and he's going down to the body on Lopez to take some of the steam off the punches from Lopez and incite the gas tank. Mm, beautiful shot right there by both fighters exchanging punches. Good jab to the stomach right there from Teofimo Lopez. Ooh, short right hand. And Nakatani just steps back to him. He's been taking a punch well. Nakatani now choosing, transitioning from the boxer to the hunter. When you fight on the front foot, you instantly become the hunter. You are hunting your opponent down.
That female kind of tips you off when he throws that leaping left hook. That's one of his signature shots. He'll dip the left shoulder and kind of bend down before he throws it. Nakatani saw the tip off and got out of the way. Nakatani should be using his reach and using his jab overtime right now. Should not be posing looking at Lopez. Mm, set himself up to be hit with that nice counter left hook from Lopez. Oh, tried the backwards punch. Now we've seen that before when there's a tie up, throwing that behind the back punch. Deepest into a fight Tiafimo Lopez has ever been. You wonder where Teofimo Lopez got this backwards punch from? Yes, Pinnell Whitaker. You know he's seen some videos of Pinnell Whitaker. Cute little shot right there by Teofimo Lopez. Check out this veteran move here by Nakatani, hitting him right on the hip. That sucks the life out of your legs when you get hit on the, on the leg like that. And here's the retaliation. Nice little short left hook, and I know you got to protect yourself at all times. But great, nice little sneaky left hook from Lopez. The only thing I'll say about that Nakatani hip shot, you point out the damage it can do. Yeah. Typically, you want to do it when the referee's on the other side. <laughs> the ref not, not on the same he side. Messed That's up, right. He as, messed up. <laughs> He's got to learn how to do it right. right? <laughs> you throw that right hand to the hip when the referee's on the far left side. But he threw it on the wrong side. He didn't get warned. Mateo did what he was supposed to do. He disciplined Nakatani and said, no, 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 mm. I'm not taking that. No job. not giving you an inch. Round number eight. Good body shot, mm. short but heavy and well placed from Lopez. But hear the thought of it. But the only problem with that I have with that is there was no follow-up punch. The body shot lands, the hands are in place, they're down low. Come up with the shot up top. That's what we need to see from Lopez. A little bit more combination punches. He's pop shot now. Could be a little bit fatigued. Uncharted territory mm -hmm. for Teofimo Lopez. First time that he's ever seen the eighth round in his professional career. Mm. Nice right hand from Nakatani right there. Nakatani has been 12 rounds on five occasions. And he's 5-0 in those affairs. Obviously because he's undefeated. Mm -hmm. Time Nakatani picks up his jab, he has success. When he poses and looks at Lopez, Lopez is able to time him and either lead with a heavy shot or counter with a heavy shot. It seems so obvious when you consider his physical attributes exactly how he should be utilizing that and defining himself. I can tell you right now, Lopez is extremely surprised that Nakatani is still around. I promise you that. He's thinking right now, what's holding this guy up? This guy is game. There he comes in with a right hand that had an impact as he sent him straight back. And how does Nakatani react here? Nakatani went down to the body right there and he's took, he took those big punches from Lopez very well. He really has. And they tried to catch him coming in with a right hand. I think he landed that one. He, he sure did. did. Mean short right hand from Nakatani. Taken well by Lopez. Timed well there. And Lopez gets hit with right hands because he's got a left, his left hand back. He get hit with a right hand from Richard Comey. He gonna be doing a stanky leg, Dre. Promise you that. Well, that is what is on the line. Mm, nice left hook right there, leaping left hook. Chance to fight Richard Comey, the IBF lightweight champion.
Here we go, Nakatani using the left hand to blind Teofimo. Beautiful short right hand to the temple of Teofimo Lopez that came behind the left hand. Lopez looked like he was, he blocked the jab with his right hand. Never anticipated the right hand coming and paid the price for that. Tripling up the jab, right hand to the body. So open up this ninth round. Right, Lopez has to pick up the pace if he wants to start to take over this fight. Nakatani has thrown 62 more punches in the fight to this point. Lopez is sensing that he has to do something, something a little different right now than he has been doing in the last couple of rounds. Beautiful counter right there. Ooh, nice. Nice two-piece. Mm -hmm. Good combination from He's Lopez. See, Lopez has a problem when he's out at an, ex in, an extension for the, you know, long guns of Nakatani. When he's out at distance, when he closes the gaps, lets his hands go like that, Nakatani did a little bit of work right there for him. He sure did. But he came in, fell in, and the yeah. right hand from Lopez was able to find its mark. But Tess, where was it at? It was mid-range. It was inside. It was near the pocket. That's where he's having success, but then he gets out. Oh, so there's a short right hand. Lopez senses it. Exactly what Lopez has to do. Stay close and keep working. And now shooting off the hip, looking for a right hand behind it. There it is, splitting the guard as well. I want to see if Nakatani can answer right now. Lopez having some weight issues. It starts to show up in the in the back half of the fight, right around the ninth, tenth round, right where we are. He just threw a nice sequence over a period of a minute. Can Nakatani take advantage of it and try to steal the play? Nakatani has shown decent punch resistance to some of these studding Lopez shots. Nakatani doing the smart thing by going to Lopez's body, especially if Lopez exerted a lot of energy, throwing those, a lot of those hard shots and hard punches and combinations. There's a right hand from Nakatani. Lopez stood right in front, just took a little dip to the left. And Nakatani said, I will gladly send it down that path. And now over the top thudding as he gets a warning from Harvey Dock. Lopez comes in, combination, went to the body there. Up jab. And Nakatani willing to stay at range and fire off a combination of his own. And now he digs with a left hand right down the center against Lopez. I'm telling you, Tess, when you throw big shots and you get hit down to the body, it's like being double drained. You know, it takes a lot of energy to throw big shots like Lopez is throwing and then get hit down to the body. Mm. Conditioning will be tested tonight and hard. Tonight, we had the concern with what happened to Maxim Dadashev, who was severely injured. And you can see the concern now of Igis Klimas, his manager, holding on to the gloves as he has, since his fighter was put into the hospital and went off with his corner team to see a specialist at a nearby trauma center. Bernardo, do you have an update for us? Yes, Joe, and it's unfortunately, it's not a good one. Maxim Dadashev will be going into surgery. At the moment, they're trying to contact his uh, nearest uh, of kin, which is his wife, Elizabeth, who is in Russia, so that they can find out and determine if he's had any allergies or any previous injuries to the brain, because the swelling has been so great that they need to bring that down. So surgery will happen as soon as they get that latest information, and they can go in and take care of Maxim Dadashev. Now, that is greatly concerning to hear that report of swelling on the brain and the sustained punishment that he took. 
11th round TKO at the hands of Sabriel Matias. One thing I think we're all thankful for is that we're here in a major metropolitan area of Washington, D.C., uh, where they could get him to a level one trauma center so that he can have that surgery. But right now, our thoughts and prayers are with Maxime and the gifted hands of the surgeon who is working on him. It's your biggest fear, Tess, when two fighters into a prize ring. Hey, but Hoping to dash that pull through. Round 10 here. Not exactly the night most expected from Lopez, but will it be the finish that they expected? Or can Nakatani keep with his ways? And maybe mm. step it up one level here as we close in on these final rounds of this title eliminator. A chance to fight for a world championship for the winner. Body shot from Nakatani again, still staying committing to the body of Lopez. That's been his punch, his money punch all night. I appreciate Nakatani throwing that left to the body, but that's not really his game. If you really look at that shot, right that's hand from his Nakatani. game. He heard, him. he heard him right there. Lopez is hurt right now. Nakatani's best work of the night. Ooh. And he comes with the right hand again as Lopez tries to answer. There it is again with a right hand, and Lopez comes back with one of his own and then closed the distance. Great action here in round 10 as he nearly catches him with a short right hand as Nakatani feels he can land that right of his own time and again. I was saying the body punching is not Nakatani's game. The right hand is Nakatani's game. Jabbing is Nakatani's game, and you saw a beautiful sequence from him just a few moments ago. What set up that right hand over the top is the body shots. That's what set it up. I think it was that left hand. Look at the look at the hand look at the hands down of Lopez slowly moving. The body shots set all of that up over the top. Lopez's hands have been down since the first round. That's how he fights. Slowly moving now, Dre. Not as quick anymore. Fatigue is set in. Let me tell you, we've got ourselves a compelling fight right here as we head to these championship rounds. End of 10. Ooh. Nice shot right there. Look at Nakatani landing his right hand. It's available. Look at the left hand of Lopez down. It's been down for most part of the part of the fight. Beautiful right hand right on the temple of Lopez. That's the signature punch of this round. Here it is again. Another look at it. And you see the right-hand counter from Lopez right there. You know, sometimes Lopez, he misjudges the range, and he doesn't pick up his shoulder. He doesn't do the, the shoulder roll the right way. And he paid the price for it. Now going back and having conversations with Tiafimo Lopez, even towards the end of last year, there was talk of how much longer can he stay at 135 pounds? What does it do to his body? Does he feel like he can perform optimally you know he goes out and hires the top nutritionist to try to make it the right way he went about things differently this past week but Dre you made the point you get to these later rounds and you have to assess what you're dealing with absolutely and it's fair game for both fighters Nakatani was struggling as well he didn't eat very much this week I would probably say based on what we heard in the fighter meetings Lopez had the better weight cut Nakatani was eating fruit water you know nuts all week long and He's still showing that he's got what it takes in the later round, so Teofimo has to also show that he has what it takes. You, know, you mentioned Nakatani struggling to make weight. I mentioned it earlier. I'll say it again, but when he was walking in, here's what happened here on the logo, you see, which often can be the case if water gets on the logo, the back foot gives out there. So good job by Harvey Doc to wipe it up. But yesterday when we went to go meet with Nakatani, 
he was being escorted in by his team. They were actually supporting him, yes, holding yeah. him up to help him walk to the meeting. That's how taxing his journey to make 135 pounds was. But he looked so strong tonight, even though he was weak in that fighter meeting. And he has a whole a lot of water on his trunks. You see the water just falling off of Nakatani's trunks and wetting up the ring. Teofimo Sr. said, we never expected Nakatani to be so tough. We think we're winning the rounds, and my son feels great, but this guy's tough. He is. I think many dismissed Nakatani. That's a decent looking fighter right here. I certainly did not believe Nakatani would be around in this Nor 11 did round, I. Joe. Nor right. did I, Dre. Mm, that Once right again, hand. trying to come with that right hand. Mm, natural punch exactly for Nakatani. the way he did it in the last round. Yes. He's thrown 70 more punches to this point than Lopez. Lopez has been more efficient and effective, landing at 30%. Lunging in lead left hook. A little drip of blood coming from the nose of Nakatani now. Now both guys getting a little chippy with those forearms on the inside as they tie up. Boy, Nakatani is really oh, fearless, good. isn't he? He, is he does not care about Lopez coming at him at all. He steps to him here in these later stages. This is going to be a mm. fascinating 12th and final round with so much on the line. Look at Nakatani being a little dirty right here, rubbing him. Ooh, that hurts right there. That's not right right there. That's 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 a foul from Nakatani, scraping him with the gloves, the inside of the gloves. Twelfth and final round, and that is Andre Ward's scorecard, 106 to 103. Perhaps there are some rounds floating in there where the work rate of Nakatani is the favor of the judges, but. Obviously, most didn't expect to even see a 12th round, let alone a scorecard from Andre Ward, at least, that's that tight. Off the hip goes Lopez to open up this final stanza. Team Lopez has been telling us for the last couple of fights that they're ready for the 12-round distance that Lopez will be strong in the 12-round distance. You can't tell us, you gotta show us. He's gotta yep. close strong in this 12th round. Here's Justin. the moment to prove it. Gotta win the championship rounds. You never know, this fight can be looming right now for Lopez, for both fighters. So whoever steps up and wins this round probably gonna win this fight. And my scorecard obviously is unofficial and there's some rounds in there that are close. They're swing rounds, meaning they can go either way. You do the best you can to choose. You never know how the judges have it. Lead right hand, tried to sweep back with the left. Looking for that home run and Nakatani fires back a right at Lopez. That was a nice move right there from Lopez, changing levels, acting like he was gonna go downstairs and then coming up with some nice little shots up top. 
Homework for Teofimo Lopez. Get your left hand up. Don't be in that posture, the, the shoulder roll posture from the first round on. That comes later once you get in control of the fight or else he's gonna keep getting hit with those right hands and the right hands are gonna get crispier and stronger as the competition gets better. I'm gonna add one more thing. Get on your jab. And use your left hand, you're right. Get on your jab. But the power's a gift and a curse, Joe. Mm. Yes, it is. The highlight reel knockout. Pre precocious you, talent yes. is, natural precocious talent. Yes. Is. But you always go back to the fundamentals. The power's not going anywhere. Last 30 seconds. How bad does Nakatani want this? What can Lopez do to prove he can finish up stronger? The right hand comes in, they tie up again. This is a really good test for Lopez. If he wins this fight, it's a great test right before his championship fight. It was a far, far better test than anybody expected. As he gets a right hand there that sends Nakatani off balance, and it goes the distance. Lopez and a very game capable and determined Nakatani go the distance. A lot of respect being shown for Masayoshi Nakatani. There is Tiafimo's wife Cynthia. Married this spring. Talked about maturing, evolving as a fighter. Fight's been a back and forth affair. Nakatani came out early with the jab. Teofimo stayed under his feet. This was the game plan from the beginning was to catch and shoot for Teofimo Lopez with the right hand. And here we see the left hook, but Nakatani took the punch as well. Nakatani kept stocking in the back end of the fight, landing a nice little body shot, right hands over the top. And also being a little bit dirty in there, Lopez and Nakatani exchanging fouls. And Nakatani kept pressing forward. Lopez eventually found his mark, catching him with good counter punches, using his aggression against him in spots. But Nakatani never stopped coming. You gotta respect that. Taking their time tallying up the scorecards here. Remember the master plan was the three fights to lead to the big one. And the way that they put it forth, Team Lopez would be easy fights to lead to the big one. Well, it wasn't so easy, was it? Final round goes to Tiafimo Lopez, Andre scorecard. That makes it 116-112, according to Andre Ward. What matters most is what David Braslow, Bernard Bruni, and Larry Hazard Jr have on their scorecards. They are working this IBF title eliminator. Winner gets Richard Comey. And if Teofimo Lopez struggled against right hands from Nakatani, watch out for Richard Comey mm. because he loves himself turning over a right hand and really bringing it. We will see. Nakatani threw more punches. Lopez landed more punches, including an edge in power punch connects, 129 to 69. Jab was a useful tool for Nakatani. Perhaps he could have done more with it, but his spirit, his attitude, and his willingness undoubtedly gained a lot of respect. Let's hear how the judges have this. And for that, we turn to Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, after going all 12 rounds, the official scorecard reads as follows. Judges Braslow and Hazard Jr. scored about identically at 118 to 110. And Judge Bruni scores it 119 to 109. All in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. Teofimo, 
el Brooklyn López. Compared to how many ringside observers, both at this table and surrounding us, see it, but nonetheless, a unanimous decision win, and now 14 and 0 is Tiafimo Lopez. And the back and as he has want to do a back foot that usually comes on the heels of a spectacular knockout. It goes the full 12 tonight. Up to Bernardo we go. Teofimo, you went past the seventh round for the first time in your career. I got boo-boos. Excuse me, excuse me. I, you did, and really wide scorecards. Your dad was saying this guy was tough. What did you think of your performance tonight? Horrible, horrible. But you know, um, it is what it is. The guy had, he's tall, six foot, man. But you know what? Uh, from this point on, we find guys my height. So we don't got to worry about nobody else no more. Um, no more tower guys or anything, man. Uh, it's a takeover still, man. Um, they wanted to see me go the distance. I did 12 rounds and a backflip. I'm still in shape. Now, you talked about feeling, how you were going to feel was going to determine how long you stayed at 135. How do you feel right now, and how long do you see you, yourself staying at lightweight? Um, you know, I feel good. I made 134.4 last uh, yesterday. You know, and I, I feel great, man, like a champ. Um, you know, hopefully we can make the fight happen. Well, we are gonna make the fight happen with Richard Comey. And, and then after that, we're getting all four belts for the, with Limachenko. Now you are lined up for a shot at Richard Comey for the title. He's got a great right hand. That right hand was landing tonight for Nakatani. What do you have to fix to become a world champion in your next fight? Uh, just little tune-ups, man. You know, I get lazy in there. You know, I slack off here and there, but you know, um, it's just part of, the, it's part of the process. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I'm, I'm thankful right now, man. This is my first main event. Hey, it was 12 rounds. Am I proud of it? Nah, but I'm proud that I, I showed everybody that I could go 12 rounds. I know your dad wants it. Do you still see Lomachenko in your future at 35? No, nah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Uh, Loma, got a, Loma got to fight a guy that's six foot two. So we're going to see the difference on that as well. You know, um, he has a tough fight ahead of him. This guy was no pushover. He was undefeated, 18 and 0, with 12 knockouts from Japan. Uh, ranked number three. I was number four. That's why we made it the IBF world title eliminator. You know, this is, uh, this is what it's all about. Hey, and, and this is what it is, man. Um, I can show that I could take a punch. I showed that I could uh, stay the 12 rounds. Man, we're ready. Thank you very much, Tofimo. How do you assess your performance, quote unquote, horrible? He's right. Horrible. Absolutely right. He got exposed a little bit tonight, Tess. He did make the point that the height of his opponent was an issue. There were a lot of times tonight where I felt like he was trying to climb up a step ladder to get his work done offensively. Almost seemed like he was trying to hit the pinata and exactly. he couldn't reach it. But you know what? That's no excuse, Tess. You know, in this game, you got to take advantage of your opponent's weaknesses. You got to figure out a way to get inside. He stayed on the outside, and that's the reason why he struggled. He should have took the game in the inside from the beginning of the fight. Teofimo Lopez wins a unanimous decision. The IBF title eliminator. He will now be going up against Richard Comey to fight for the belt. A kiss from his wife, Cynthia. A backflip to cap it. We'll be back to wrap things up after this.